Hi friends, welcome to my video. Today's video is about the different courses that you can pursue in radiology and also about the career opportunities. So in diploma, uh, sorry, in ra uh, radiology, we have various diploma, degree, PG diploma, as well as postgraduate courses. The eligibility for a diploma course in radiology is 10th plus 2. You can take any stream for a diploma program. Also, you can do a diploma program after 10th. You can do diploma for 3 years. For degree courses, your age eligibility is 10 plus 2 with science group or you can pursue BSc after doing diploma in any of the radiology courses. Now, as I said, in radiology, we have radio diagnosis as well as radiotherapy. So you can do diploma and BSc separately in radio diagnosis and radiotherapy. Also, you can do it in combined form. We have Diploma in Radiation and Imaging Technology. So this is a Diploma of Radio Diagnosis. BSc in Radiation and Imaging Technology. So this is a degree course in Radio Diagnosis. BSc in Medical Radiation Technology. This is a degree course uh, uh, where we get a graduation degree for both Radio Diagnosis as well as Radiotherapy. Then we have BSc in Radiotherapy. Okay, so this is a degree course for radiotherapy. Then diploma in medical radiation technology. So here we can will get a diploma for both radio diagnosis as well as radiotherapy. Then we can also do a separate uh, program for ultrasound. We have diploma in ultrasound technology. Also we have BSc in medical sonography. So if you do a diploma in ultrasound technology or a medical sonography a degree in medical sonography you can work as a sonographer. If you do a diploma or a BSc in radio diagnosis you can work as a radiographer. If you do a diploma or BSc in radio diagnosis as well as radiotherapy you can work as a radiographer as well as a radiotherapist. Then we can also pursue a career in nuclear medicine technology. So we have BSc in nuclear medicine technology as well as diploma in nuclear medicine technology. Now after graduation, you can also go for MSc. You can do MSc in medical sonography. You can do MSc in nuclear medicine technology. You can do MSc in radiotherapy or you can do MSc in radio diagnosis. Then we have Diploma in Advanced Medical Imaging Technology. So this is a diploma program which, can, which you can do after your BSc. Then we have also various PG Diploma programs. So PG Diploma programs, we'll, uh, we can uh, pursue PG Diploma in Radiology after completing your graduation. Then we can do MSc in Radio Diagnosis, Radiotherapy, uh, Ultrasonography, Nuclear Medicine Technology. So these are all the courses that we have in radiology. Now, apart from doing MSc in radiography, you can also pursue MBA in hospital administration or you can uh, pursue MBA in uh, uh, hospital quality control. Then, what are the career opportunities in radiology? So you can work as a radiographer. If you are specialized in radiotherapy, you can work as a radiotherapist. If you are specialized in sonogra uh, medical sonography, you can work as a sonographer or an ultrasound technician. If you have pursued um, a BSc or Diploma in Nuclear Medicine Technology, you can work as a Nuclear Medicine Technologist.
Apart from working in the hospitals, you can also pursue a teaching career in radiology. After you uh, complete MSc, you can opt a teaching career in radiology. So when we talk about careers in radiology, as we know, in the department of radiology, we have many modalities. You can work in X-ray as an X-ray technician, as a uh, radiographer in X-ray department. You can work as a CT technician, as an MRI technician. Spe uh, and those specialized in sonography, you can work as a sonographer, ultrasound technician. You can also work in radiotherapy. You can also work in nuclear as nuclear medicine technician or nuclear medicine technologist. You can work in India with very good salary and you can also opt to go abroad in Middle East countries, European countries. So radiology or the career in radiology, you can opt working in India as well as abroad. You can also work in government sectors. You can write the uh, uh, PSE exams and enter into government sectors. You can also opt working in uh, hospitals, in diagnostic centers. So, the career in radiology or a radiographer is a very demanding uh, person in a hospital. The department of radiology is one of the most important department in a hospital and radiographer is also one of the most demanding person in the hospital. Then a person working in the radiology department has less working hours because he is working in a department where he is handling ionizing radiations. So you might be thinking working in a radiology department may be harmful for your health. We have many protective measures in radiology department. A person working in a radiology department does not have to face many uh, uh, or so many health hazards. We can work in radiology department very safely. We can un uh, undertake all the protective measures and we can continue working in radiology department without seriously causing any harms to our health. Only thing is that we have to maintain proper diet and with a good lifestyle, we can live healthy even being a radiographer or even after working in radiotherapy departments. So radiology is a very important department in a hospital setting and we have many career opportunities in radiology. So that is all we have regarding the different courses and career opportunities in radiology. Thank you. If you find this video useful, please subscribe and have a nice day.